Eva Hare sent me this beautiful white synthetic lace front for my Fantasia Centaurette cosplay. It's a lovely wig, but I need it to be a little shorter and with a 40s style, so I'm going to be giving it a trim and a curl today. Fantasia came out in 1940, so I'm going to interpret the Centaurette's hair as a classic 40s brush out with a sort of victory roll inspired bang. If you want to learn more about this wig, make sure to check out my review, which is linked in the description and also in the card in the top right corner of the video. To replicate this look, you'll need your heat resistant wig, of course, and a wig head to put it on. You'll also need a paddle brush, a straightener if your wig is not already straight, foam rollers, clips or pins, hairspray, and scissors. Now, this wig came curly, but I need to do a 40s style brush out, which means I need to recurl it in a specific way, so I'm going to straighten it first. Even when you're working with a heat resistant wig, you should always test your styling tools on the ends of your wig just to make sure you're not about to melt the fibers. In the artwork, the Centaurette's hair falls a few inches longer than her shoulders, which is already longer than was typical in the 40s, so if it comes out a little shorter than that after I curl it, that's fine by me. I'm going to cut it to about the bottom of my shoulder blades. I've used my measuring tape to figure out how long that is from the top of my scalp. For me, it's about 22 inches. To thin the ends, I'm just going to cut little bits at a time at an angle and do this throughout all the hair. If it's still looking chunky after that, I'll angle my scissors directly upwards and thin the ends that way. Now that we've cut it to the length we want, it's time to style it. Next, I'm going to separate the section that I'll be using for the bangs and clip it out of the way. We'll curl the body of the hair first. In the 40s, it was common to use wet set pin curls to style your hair, but I haven't yet mastered the art of pin curls, so I'm just using foam rollers. Just wrap each section of the hair around a foam roller and pin it into place. Try to curl all the hair in a uniform direction. For the bangs, I'm curling them all to one side so that I can create a sort of side parted victory roll look. Now, to set these curls, we'll be dousing the whole wig in boiling water. This is a good way to get some really solid curls in both heat resistant and non heat resistant synthetic wigs. Just put your whole wig head into a sink or bathtub, boil some water, and pour it over top. Then you'll want to leave it to fully dry. Once the wig is completely dry, it's time to take out the rollers. You should end up with what are essentially ringlets. Now if you want to look like Honey Boo Boo, you can stop here, but that's not really what I'm going for, so I'm going to brush out the curls now. Which will give you more of an Alex from Flashdance look. Also not what we want, but closer. Now this is the finicky part. Using a brush, hairspray, your fingers, and a blow dryer on low as necessary, you will want to shape the wig. Ideally, the body of the wig should be wavy and relaxed, and the bottom should curl under. This is really just a trial and error step and might take you some time to get right. For the bangs, you want more of a defined curl than the rest of the hair. I just rolled the end into a loop and fiddled with the hair until it lay on the head the way I wanted, and then I secured it with a few bobby pins. This may take a few tries. And here's the finished look, complete with a flower crown. Hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, and remember that if you want this beautiful wig for yourself, it is currently on sale for around $30 off at evahair.com, so make sure to check them out. I will put all of their links into the description. And don't miss my finished Centerette cosplay. It's going to include a full horse body with legs that move, so make sure you're following me on Facebook and Instagram to get updates. And if you want to make extra sure you don't miss it, you can always subscribe to my monthly email list at jennyd.com slash email dash sign up, which I will also link in the description.